sorry, dashboard actions. What can we do with them? I'm going to take you through a few different examples here. The first one being a button. Now, buttons, I think, are a fundamental use of dashboard actions because they're a really intuitive way of letting your users interact with different dashboards throughout a workbook or even between different workbooks on Tableau server. So, let's turn this into a button to find out more. So to do this, we want to go up into Dashboard Actions and add an action that's a filter. I'm going to give this a name and just call it Nav1. I think it's really helpful to give your actions descriptive names so that if you ever come back to it, you know what they're doing or if you ever have to hand a workbook over to somebody else, it's easier for them to see that documentation of what's going to happen. When you use Dashboard Actions, there's three fundamental things you have to decide. You have to decide your short source sheet which is what your user interacts with to cause the action to happen. You have to choose how they cause it to happen, which is where you, the hover select and menu comes in. I'm going to choose select for now. And you choose a target, which is what you want the action to happen to. So to navigate, you want to choose a different target sheet. I'm going to uncheck, Ooh, excuse me. uncheck the sheet so that they aren't affected as we move through. Hit OK, and now we have a functioning button. So I'm going to use a gymnastics data set to talk you through some dashboard actions, just for a little context. There are six pieces of apparatus in the men's gymnastics discipline, and each one has a difficulty score and an execution score awarded to each athlete, which is what's shown in the scatter plot here. So the first thing that I want to do is allow my user to choose a piece of apparatus to see the score distribution for different gymnasts. To do this, I'm going to create a highlight action. I'm going to call this app highlight. I want this to happen when the user interacts with the icons at the top. I want, to happen, I want it to happen when they hover on those icons. And I only want it to action upon the scatter plot. So I'm going to hit OK. And now the user can easily mouse through and see how different apparatus have different distributions within the overall scores across them all. But the slight problem we come across here is that, OK, you can see at the bottom there are a couple of interesting little data plots that are slight out outliers. But as soon as I mouse off them, they get lost in the clutter. And this means this is kind of an example of why it's important to think about how your user is going to interact with your dashboard. And in this instance, I think it would be more appropriate to have a select action. Because now, when I click on the piece of apparatus, the, the highlighting is, is kind of maintained even when you mouse off it. And this allows you to go and interact further with the scatter plot. Now, you can get some information here from the tooltip. But what if you want to let your users know a little bit more? For this, I've appended into my data source a URL. Now, this is just a link to each of the athletes page on the Federation of International Gymnastics website. So if I go back and through my dashboard actions, choose a URL action, I would like to use, I want to let the user interact with the scatter plot on a select, and they will be taken to the athlete URL field. So now, if you want to find out a little bit more about Eddie Yusuf, you can load in Tableau itself a web page that gives the user some more information about the athlete and is also interactive so you can you know navigate through the web page so i want to use this final button as a way of indicating the importance of signposting to your to your users because although there are actions if they're hidden and the user doesn't know that they're there then how much are they actually going to add especially to new users who might not be familiar with the ways that you can interact with dashboards in tableau that one's not working. It's been a little bit fiddly. So we'll just go past that. <laughs> so any questions? But before you jump in, perhaps you could email them. Now, this is quite a neat little use of URL actions in Tableau. If you type in, we'll call it get answers here, mail to followed by a colon, and then add in an email address following that or a field of different email addresses. When you interact with that, that sheet, you can follow the link, which will automatically open up 
an email, an email, what are these called, client? Now this is, no, it doesn't, I made it up. <laughs> But this is, although this is quite a contrived scenario, there are obvious use cases for it. For example, if you're tracking products that, for a company that's perhaps a client and anything goes wrong, you now have an easy way to immediately get into contact with them through email to have that linked into the products perhaps that the company owns. So now, any questions for real? Okay.